it's a lovely sunny afternoon and I thought I'd take you around the garden for a little bit just to show you a few things that are blooming in my garden before we go up to the pond. So we've got some flowers here. Very pretty little flowers, look. These are like a daffodil, but they're white ones. Lots of, lots of yellow daffodils on the Forsyth here as well. But there's also this, which is rosemary. And the bees absolutely love it. There aren't any on it at the moment. Oh, yes, there are. Hang on, let's see if I can get you a nice picture of a bee buzzing around it. It's not quite in the sunshine at the moment. The bees love it and it smells wonderful. It's a plant that gets used in cooking quite often. And these ones down here, these bright, bright yellow ones, these are called celandine and they are wildflowers. So you'll find those out on your walk if you get a chance to go for a walk. And these little purple ones down here are uh, a type of primrose, the same family as primroses. Right, let's go and see what's happening at the pond. Now then, there we are. So I can see there is a nice clump of tadpoles. It's a bit bright and sunny, isn't it? Mutt makes a nice change. Here we go, here goes the, the white tray. Look, there's a lovely clump of tadpoles there. Now, what a lot of wriggling going on, look, look. They love it being sunny, really love it. So quite a lot of them, in fact, most of them, are now broken out of the um, frog spawn and they're looking for food. There's still a few in the clump just there, but they're looking now for a different type of food. So they'll be swimming all around the pond. And I think what we'll do is if I can do this, I will scoop with my... No, they're all joined together. Let's see if we've got something over here. Another dip. Oh, there's a few that were swimming over here. Look, can you see them in the, in the sieve? I don't want to... I don't want to hurt them, so I'm going to keep them in the water. I should be able to see them. I'm going to let them go. There. See if we've got any other creatures. I was hoping I might be able to show you a frog or a newt, but I think they have all gone away from the pond after laying their eggs. But I can find a water boatman. Here he is, look. There he is, let's put him in the water there. Can you see him, look? That's a water boatman. He'd like to go a bit deeper than that, so this is very shallow water for him. But he's another one of these pond creatures that I think you probably saw in the first pond video. Um, he's jumping around, he's grown quite big. And he will be laying eggs, and in fact, that might even be two of them there. So there might be two of them there. Let's have a look, we'll let those go. Let's pop those back into the pond and let them go. Okay. The marsh marigolds, look at those, aren't they beautiful? They've really enjoyed the sunshine this, this morning and afternoon. And the leaves on my water lily are starting to get tall. They might be up above the the water fairly soon look can you see that one so i'll have a water lily and i think that's probably all i've got to show you today there aren't the water is still very cold so there aren't as many creatures around as i'd like but it's supposed to be a warm sunny day tomorrow so we'll have another go maybe see if we can get some more interesting things to look at bye